is a beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today as you can see from the title i am coming to you with a few things that i reflected on in 2021 i love to reflect i'm, I'm a huge reflector on how i could have how i can do it better the next time or if i didn't do it that good and i thought i did <laughs> so yeah um i'm just talking about a few things like that um yeah so before we get into that, I don't want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video, okay? All right, guys, so let's jump right into it. Of course, I have my handy dandy notebook available for me because I write things down like crazy. This is my favorite notebook. My favorite person almost my favorite person, my top five, literally in the top five person in the whole wide world. <laughs> Got me in this journal, thank you. Anyways, if you're watching this video, I don't even know if you're watching this video, but okay, whatever. But anyways, it's, the title is, as you can see, is things that I won't like kill my relationships. And this is about building new relationships with people, friendships, intimate relationships, my family relationships, all the relationships that I have currently or created deeply in 2021, I don't want these things to ruin those relationships or the new relationships that's to come, okay? So number one is um, ignoring the past traumas that are unresolved. I know that there are things that happened in my lifetime that I probably would never let go or never forgive certain people who are, and I cannot allow it to ruin my relationships with other people or ruin or thinking like, oh, this is gonna be the same or oh, here we go again kind of thing. So I don't want my past traumas that are not, I didn't resolve with myself or with that person to ruin what's to come in my future. Number two, um, I don't want to, what I won't, I don't want to let kill my relationship is me ignoring my values and my beliefs. Uh, for of my own beliefs and other people's beliefs too. I don't want to discredit how people live their lives and I don't want to discredit how I live my life. So I want to be able to come together as a unit or a partnership and be able to agree to disagree and it does kill our relationship because I know I'm cold when it comes to people like, because again, people know me, my intent isn't to hurt your feelings. So if you intentionally do something to me, I got a problem with that. So. That means you don't belong in my life and I'm I'm quick to dismiss people out of my life. So I want to be able to do the same with men. I tend to dismiss other people more than the people that I am intimately in a relationship with. So I want to be equally, equally yoked all around, but I also don't want to ignore that person's beliefs and also ignore mine. Well, I don't want to understand them and make mine smaller you know what i'm saying or make mine feel like oh mine is more important than yours because who's to say who who says i'm better than you i mean i might be but you know <laughs> no big deal number four i don't want it says not ignoring i'm sorry we're not even on four we're on three right my nose has been running like crazy but i don't even understand like my body feels completely fine but my nose is like i'm always on my nose my skin is like flourishing though, okay? But anyways, three. Not being able to express my feelings or regulate them. So I don't want me not being able to control my feelings or talk about my feelings to ruin any relationship that I currently come across or the current relationships, I mean my future relationships that I come across or the current relationships. So I want to be able to be at one with how I feel and be able to express them like an adult without being too emotionally attached to my feelings. I want to be able to talk about it and resolve why or for what or how this happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number four, um, another thing that I don't want to let kill my relationships is um, trying to ignore, trying to ignore um, things that trigger me emotionally. I am currently 
noticing that within the last month or two there has been some things that someone has done to me unconsciously. It's not like I'm pointing the finger, but, but I realized that it triggered some emotions in me that I didn't like. And I can either discuss that with them or that person just may not need to be in my life because they are too triggering for me. So I don't want that to ruin it in the future because I'm ignoring how it's making me feel right now. Um, number five, try to change the other person. I know that everyone is not me and I am not them. So I need to figure out a way to how can I say this? I want to figure out a way to remove the people out of my life that has one perspective. Because I know that when it comes to tunnel vision people and people with one perspective, I tend to push a little bit more or harder on those people because I don't understand why you think like that. There's a thousand and one perspectives and now I'm making my job to make you see that. And I don't want to make, I don't want nothing to be my job. Like literally my next relationship, I don't, you, nah, I'm not dealing with no, no problems. Like if you are building your life and you're stuck and we meet, I don't, honestly, I don't think that I want to be involved with someone that is unhappy with themselves. I don't want to, I don't want to be with someone that is unsure about their future. It's just a lot of things that I've become whole with that they have to be whole with too. So, and if not, I will find myself trying to change them or change their mentality to view it how I view it. And then that consumes me and then I belittle myself and then I change who I am because of what the fuck. So yeah, I don't, I just don't, uh-uh. I just, you see how crazy and all over the place that is? It's just my, like a mind fuck. I don't want my mind to be fucked, okay? I just want to, it to flow effortlessly. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying. I don't, I know, I don't. Only thing I want to try hard to do is to love you more daily. More than I did yesterday, okay? Anyways, number six, lacking self-awareness and accountability. This is something that I don't want to let kill my relationships, my current relationships and my future relationships. I want to be able to accept when I'm wrong and I want to be able to apologize, but I want to also be self-aware of the things that I stand strongly on and I don't want to say that, oh, this is not me because they don't like it. So I want to be self-aware of who I am as a person, but I also want to take accountability for my own wrongs and my faults and the things that I make or do that are mistakes. I look so pretty, oh my God. But anyways, and then number seven, number seven is the best one. Number seven, drum roll. Lose myself. I am never, ever, ever gonna allow myself to lose myself to keep a relationship. Like, I would rather the relationship die first before I become somebody else because I love who I am right now. And I love the person that is continuing to develop within me because again, I have a great, great, great spirit and I love people and I care so much that when I allow someone else to consume me, I see darkness and I don't want to see darkness. I'm a very light person and I like sharing my light with other people. So if I lose myself, I wouldn't be able to do that. I just wanted to kill my relationships. Even though this is a thing where it says the things I won't let kill my relationships, but guess what? It will kill the relationship because I won't be myself anymore. So that means that if I lose myself, that relationship is killed in that moment. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I don't want it to happen. I want to, my relationships to be strong. I want them, I want the future relationships that are my life to be strong. I currently have a new number. I've had a new number for like a week or so, and I have about 20 to 30 contacts of the people that I talk to 
regularly or at least more than once a month, maybe more than five times a month. And as of right now, I'm starting to be okay with that. I was struggling for a while um, with my phone being dry and the feeling of being alone, not feeling lonely. To see, those are two different feelings and I'm still battling that right now. So the concept of me, I'm, I'm dating, but I'm currently not dating. So it's a, it's a thing where it's like, I'm, I'm open to dating, but I haven't found someone to date, if that makes sense. So I'm going with the concept of, I live by myself. Um, I don't talk to as many people as I used to because I deleted my entire contacts and most of the time it was me reaching out to them. So I think that the people that have my phone number now are the people that should have my phone number now. And I think that the people that have my phone number going further are the new relationships that I built and the new people that I allow into my life, into my future in 2022. And that matters. So yeah, the things that I will not let kill my relationships, my current relationships and my future relationships come. All right, as you know that guys, I'm Tara J. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching my video and subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. Give this video a big thumbs up because I would truly appreciate it. As you know it, I'm Tara J. Peace.